Hey, aloha, everybody, and welcome. Thank you for joining today's podcast. My name is Paul Fletcher, and this is The Healing Source. Uh, today we are with episode six, and today we're going to be focusing on the different types of healing that you can receive with Tao healing. And what I mean by that is, of course, you can receive healing for physical pain, emotional, finances, many different aspects. And I've spoken about the different series that uh, that will follow as this series ends. I think uh, next week it will be the last one. And then we're going to go into healing for the emotions. But what I mean by this title, the different types of Tao healing, is that you can actually receive healing through different transmissions. Now, in the past couple of live streams, I have used what's called the Tao uh, Soul Light Operation. You saw that with Joy, uh, a Soul Light Operation. I've also used what's called Tao Hands. And today, I will be using Tao Calligraphy, and I will be working also with Tao Song and Tao Hands. I'm going to combine those three different types of healing transmissions in one to offer service to a special guest that I have here today. So to bring everybody up to speed that is um, new or just stumbling across this for the first time, uh, I am trained as a certified master and teacher, master healer and teacher, excuse me, from the Tao Academy. And I've been trained by Dr. and Master Jigong Sha. Uh, you can learn more about him at his website, drsha.com. <clears throat> and having trained with this teacher for 13 plus years, I've come to understand the nature of the problems, uh, the origination of the nature of the problems in our life. And again, for anybody new just coming across here, uh, the short version of that is that any suffering and any success that is entered into our life is there because of the vibration that is emanating from us personally. We all have a soul and our soul carries all the negative information and all the positive information. Where does that negative and positive information come from that resides with us? It originates from our positive or negative thoughts, words, and actions. And unfortunately, a lot of people think that when they have a negative thought, it has no effect because it didn't leave their lips. Well, that's not true. And the same is true for positive thoughts. You can have uh, joyful, positive thoughts, wishing people the best success. That also stays on your vibration. And these positive and negative vibrations on your field, they assist in the manifestation of whatever showing up in your life. So if you are one of those folks that arrived here today and you're suffering on some level, whether it's a physical suffering, which is the subject matter for today, or maybe it's an emotional or, or financial or relationship suffering, the solution will be delivered again today in this podcast. So I encourage you to stick around. You're going to learn so much more. Make sure you subscribe and uh, go back and watch the first couple because the first uh, several podcasts are what is Tao healing? Why is Tao healing important? And how does Tao healing work? And that'll give you a very good foundation for the remainder of these podcasts. You can also learn, of course, more by clicking the links in the description area I'm coming to my website, wellspringoflight.com. So today, now I'm going to introduce a person. Uh, Elizabeth is her name. I have known Elizabeth for probably about seven or eight years, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, but it's been mostly in the periphery. I had met her originally over in Hawaii when I was living there many years ago. And <clears throat> what I come to understand about Elizabeth is she's a very a strong personality, a go-getter. She, she says, I'm going to go do this, and she does it. She's the kind of person that says, you, if you tell her you cannot move a mountain, she'll probably find a way to do it. So I love Elizabeth because she is very proactive in getting things done. Unfortunately for Elizabeth, she's here today because she was proactive in her health and getting herself back into the exercise routine, and she had a side effect from that. So please help me welcome Elizabeth. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. That's so true. Just when I thought I was back on track, 
bam, you know, and there's like this energy around us that has a mind of its own, I think. So tell us what happened. Well, it, during uh, actually around June 1st, I um, tripped over our new puppy when he got afraid and um, fell. And honestly, I was all so grateful. All I did was break my wrist. And it was like a little chip, you know, on the side, but it kind of dislocated everything. So um, at that point, it needed a cast and it healed um, pretty well. Not, it's not really perfect, but I've been doing rehab and it's getting better and I can pretty much do everything. I can even put my hands flat now, my, you know, at an angle, like, and it's hard to see and the thing, but like you would want to have your hands down flat like that so that you can do like a push up or a down dog or something like that. So here I am in my Pilates class because I have always felt they were like the safest of that sort of thing. And um, just doing a really easy roll, which I love and I do easily. And, and then all of a sudden this like feeling and sound, the sound was what was the most amazing. It was like rip the sound in my lower back and I hadn't done anything. So it's one of those things that sometimes when um, things happen to us or others and there seems like no reason, this was one of those. <laughs> so you were doing a gentle Pilates roll basically and then you felt uh, like a pull or a tear. A big tear. Yeah, in your, in your lower back, right? Yeah, right. Uh, right in my lower back, right along the, um, uh, you know, lower than my waist, but like right around where um, that big bone is. Okay. You know, the um, mm -hmm. sacrum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right around, just actually, if I'm feeling it now, it's right above the sacrum. And you know how sometimes like pain like kind of jumps around? That's when you know it's not physical. Yeah. You know, so it yeah. jumps from here to there. And so it was a lot on my left. And then it started to feel better because I know what to, things to do. So I was doing right. everything I know. I have all these little machines that I was doing things. And then that kind of got better on the left. And then it jumped to the right one day. Like two okay. days ago. So this has been ongoing now for about 10 days. And I'm so grateful for this opportunity because I'm really kind of tired of it. And I'm off to see my grandson who's going to want to play and cuddle. He already knows I can't lift him. He's getting so big. Now, um, it's been about 10 days. Is that right? Okay. And um, in terms of the pain, does, is it painful while you're sitting? Uh, no, not right now, because I know that if I contract my inner, those inner muscles from the mm -hmm. pelvis and up the spine, I know if I contract them, it's never painful. Okay. So even if yeah. I bend over, like in a way that I could make it painful and I use my muscles instead of just being a little blob, mm -hmm. then I, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. Okay. So I'm going to ask you to, to stand up then and put yourself in a position where there's a discomfort and then measure that discomfort. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I see now it doesn't want to do it. Just go ahead and try different movements and see what okay. happens. Let's see. Yeah, now it's, I mean, earlier I could probably have made it like a seven or eight, but now it's, um, you know, probably a three. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. We'll have something to work with, right? And so sometimes it acts up. Is it more active in the morning, more active in the evenings? Um, I, you know, it's really just, I think it's more positional than time than temporal. Okay. No like worries. Right there, I can make it go that way and I can feel like a little jab, for instance. Now is this, this pain still above the waist, right? Yeah. It's like, right. Um, like here's my waist mm -hmm. and here is like the book, kind of the band of pain here. Okay. And here's my sacrum. Okay. So it's like right there. Very good. Thank you. Go ahead and have a seat. Okay. <clears throat> okay so what we're going to do for Elizabeth, uh, as I'm going to incorporate 
uh, several different form of, of healing. And I'm going to, um, to share a new image for most of the audience in just a moment here. I'm going to give a little description first. Um, you've heard me mention my teacher, Dr. and Master Shah. And Dr. and Master Shah uh, is the founder of Tao Healing many, many, many years ago. I gave a little bit of a backdrop on that early on, so make sure you go back and watch the first uh, first one or two uh, videos on the podcast to get that background. Dr. Master Shah is a world-renowned healer, and he has, um, has been a conduit through which the transmission of healing authority and healing ability can occur. Uh, I've received Tao Healing Hands, so I can activate that transmission. The light comes to the individual received a Tao light massage. You witnessed that the last two times, excuse me, not uh, a Tao light operation. You witnessed that the last two times. Today, I'm gonna work with Tao Song, which is a transmission where when I use my voice, it actually will bring healing to uh, the recipient, as well as Tao hands. And I'm also going to utilize what's called Tao calligraphy. Now, each of these transmissions can be used for any condition. It really doesn't matter what it is. <clears throat> financial relationship, it's irrelevant. Because what, in essence, the Tao healing is doing is it's transforming the negative information, which is the root cause of the suffering, and it's washing away that negativity and, and replacing it with positive information, positive messages, love and light, and uh, causing the, the energy in that person's field to transform. The end result typically shows up as less pain or being pain-free, just as in the previous episodes. As always, we make no promises. The third form that I'm going to uh, introduce today is called Tao Calligraphy. And this is actually, uh, in Master Shah's own words, the most powerful form of healing available. How does it work? When uh, he or a um, Tao Calligraphy healer who's received the transmission uh, connects, they place the ink onto the paper, and in placing the ink onto the paper, love and light from the source, the most pure positive frequency and vibration is infused into that art. I'm gonna put up on the screen in a moment here, one that was written specifically for healing the lower back. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna activate my healer transmission for Tao calligraphy, as well as these other two. And I'm gonna do what's called tracing for Elizabeth. And tracing is when I touch my five fingers together and follow the lines. This action with the transmissions that I have, <clears throat> in combination with the love and light that's been infused into the source calligraphy, create a condition where um, that frequency and vibration then goes to the recipient, whoever I ask it to serve. Okay. Now, you might not see it, but it's, it has an efficacy that's been validated for well over 10 years. And certainly you can learn more at the website. So, uh, Elizabeth, is this something you're ready to receive? Yes, please. I'm very ready to receive this. Okay. Very good. So I'm going to put the calligraphy up, and I'm going to connect and go ahead and deliver this transmission. And what do you want me to do? Uh, thank you for asking. What I'd like you to do, Elizabeth, is I'd like you to um, close your eyes and vision, see light coming into your lower back. Okay. Also, you can silently uh, do a little forgiveness practice. I have introduced that to the audience before. And for those that are new, basically it's, it's recognizing that uh, nothing is accidental. The negative information on uh, Elizabeth Field came for a reason. And so it's always wise to ask forgiveness, whatever that originating cause was. Okay. So uh, let us put us in the corner as we do that and let us connect. So you just relax, close your eyes, Elizabeth, and I will activate the transmission. <clears throat> Dear the frequency vibration, healing love and light within this source calligraphy for healing the lower back. I deeply love, honor, and appreciate you. I humbly ask that as I trace for our beloved Elizabeth, that the healing frequency and vibration stored within, please come to her help heal, rejuvenate as appropriate her lower back. I ask my Tao hands transmission to please turn on, my Tao duh, the I Tao hands, and I ask my Tao song healer transmission to turn on. And I ask all three of these transmissions to now serve Elizabeth as appropriate 
and this will be uh, about a five minute healing. So let us begin. Start. Now I will use what's called the language of my heart or a heart song, uh, which is something that can be taught and learned. Uh, and for those in the audience that like that idea, you're more than welcome to connect with me on that. So that I invite the audience. But if they have back pain, they can trace the same calligraphy. And if you'd like to serve as Elizabeth, then you can trace for her by touching your five fingers together and following the lines of the calligraphy. I'm going around three times, and then I'm dropping into the calligraphy following the path.
At the end of this healing, we are saying the words ha, 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 which has been taught to <clears throat> Master Shah, and he is Mandarin Chinese, and that means complete, perfect, get well, it can have many meanings. Okay, so did you have any feelings or sensations, Elizabeth, while this was occurring? I did. Lots, I, lots was going on. Um, so I feel, um, actually, I felt sort of stages um, that in the beginning, I felt my whole body start to unwind. What we say unwind is kind of a coined word for um, uh, releasing what's stuck in the tissue. Mm -hmm. And I could feel my body start to just move in ways that it, it wanted to. And um, so I felt just I, and saw like just energies, dark energies leaving um, around my neck and my hips and um, a little like still in my hips, but a little lower down than where I was experiencing the pain. And then about maybe mm, three quarters of the way through or two thirds of the way through, I felt like there was a different energy and your voice started to be different, Paul. Um, and that felt like maybe a cleanup like the major work had been done. And then there was this sort of sweeping feeling where the energy would go in and kind of clean the last bits and um, sweep and make it all um, kind of calm and good again. And, um, you know, I feel like back, I feel kind of whole again, really. It's really cool. It's a, a very, a really great feeling before I felt I don't usually perceive myself as a fragile person, but I was feeling, I realized now I was feeling fragile that, um, you know, any little move I did could hurt or, and then my back was starting to feel achy and, you know, but I feel all better now. That's excellent. Yeah. You're, you actually, your color has changed a bit. So that's a very good sign. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Feel, yeah, yeah. yeah. More. It's really true. I'm warm. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. It's cold. things are flowing again. Um, would you mind uh, getting up and, oh, yeah. and checking those positions again? See how things are going. Yeah, see, it's like I actually feel like a little tiny bit over here, but I have sometimes taken pain as I have had a book for really, really a long, like so long. It's an old book. And it's called The Brilliant Function of Pain, and I always, um, you know, notice that or or. Um, allow that pain is um, has a function and is giving me a message. So in this case, what I think the message is, is just to remember, you know, to forgive and to, it's okay to ask for help and to expand, you know, all my energy rather than kind of close it in. So it just feels like I feel like really uh, recovered and I feel whole. That's the main thing. Okay. And I feel safe. But before I didn't feel so safe in my body. You know, that's important. Uh, and you're welcome to sit back down. I have one of the, one of the folks that um, has joined my membership program and um, she's from Spain. And one of the reasons she joined was um, she's elderly and uh, she, she has, fear about going outside because at one point she felt lost her balance right so she has this innate fear and so since she's been in the membership um, i've been doing healing for her every day that's one of the benefits of it and uh she said you know she went outside the other day and she felt significantly different wow. and that can happen you know when when our body parts don't function the way we're accustomed to right so i'm so happy for you uh, that, that you're noticing this difference as a holistic shift for yourself. Yeah. I hope she notices too. So I would love to hear from her, you know, if um, this, cause I know this transfers to anyone who's watching. So. This is true. Yeah. This is one of the things. And um, I have a gentleman that was, um, I just, he, he found me through Facebook, but 
that's because he was searching for me. And the reason he was searching for me was he apparently had some prostate issues. I, I'm going to talk to him later tonight. It's the first time I'm going to talk to him. Uh, and so he was searching for some alternative solutions. And he came across a pre-recorded video where I was offered a Dow Healing. I just put in my Dow Hansen off the healing on video. It's probably been out there a few years, right? And he, he said, I've been looking for you because that's the one thing that's been helping me. Wow. Isn't that interesting? It's great. Right? So the power on a video can have that kind of a healing effect for people, even after the fact. And this is the nature of Tao Healing for our audience. It's so powerful that um, there's no time in their space. Everything is done at the level of soul. Your soul is what's carrying the frequency and vibration that's positive or negative. And this is healing at the level of soul. So it's not uncommon that people can receive healing after the fact uh, through a video. Isn't that strange? I think it's really important for people to, you know, start to just connect with that message that there is no time and no space. And and so if we can take that into our own lives and connect with our family and friends and um, in ways that's really important too. We can learn from all this just in an everyday way. We don't have to be in pain. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is so true. Well, I want to thank you, Elizabeth, for coming. I know you have a project you got to run off to, um, but I really appreciate you taking the time. And I will check in with you again over the next day or two and see how things are progressing for you. Let me ask you this. Um, do you have even just a few minutes next week? I'm going to be doing a wrap up with the three different people I've done healing for and hopefully get them all three to come on and then they can share what's transpired in that period of time. Did you have time next week? You mean on, would it be like next Wednesday? It would be next Wednesday, same time as this. Uh, probably I'll be in, I'll be with my grandson. So that'll be a great, um, uh, great opportunity to great measurement. Um, yeah. Measure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay. So that'll be fine. I, I think so. It'll be like three o'clock. So I th yeah. I don't see why not. Perfect. I'd love okay. to anyway, I'd love to do that. We'll connect with you then and hopefully we'll be able to get all three of you on to for follow up and so people know the benefits. So I appreciate you coming on. Great to see you. And until next time, aloha. Aloha. Thank you, Paul. And thank I just want to thank the audience for coming and being open to learning. I just admire you all very much. Beautiful. Thank, thank you. you for sharing. Okay, and so this brings us to the conclusion of today. So as a as a reminder of what we've been discussing, there are different types of Tao healing. Uh, in the last few episodes, you witness what's called a Tao soul light operation. And that's where I uh, call the soul in front of me and I open the area of request. We did, uh, what did we do before? We did one for the, um, the left side shoulder, amazing results with that. And the other was for um, <clears throat> a person's um, hand. Yeah. And we'll hopefully have them both back. And then uh, today I use Dao song. You heard my song. Literally, I could just use that and activate that transmission and offer voice. And why does it work? Why does Dao hands work? Why does Dao calligraphy work? Why do any of these transmissions work? Because the power, the ability to receive those healing abilities and authorities can be transmitted. Uh, I have in my role and my stature as a as a uh, master teacher and healer, I have also received authority to transmit Dao Han's healing abilities to others. So you can actually become a healer. Isn't that amazing? So not only can I offer that healing ability, uh, but I can uh, offer that healing. I can also offer the healing ability. So there's so much more that I wish to share with you. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the podcast. Love it when you share it with other friends. I'm sure they can benefit as well. Come to my website, wellspringoflight.com, and take advantage of the, uh, the gift that I offer there, which is a, a video series. There's nine five-minute videos, about 45 minutes of your life, and it explains how you can heal your soul and heal your life. There is so much value in that series uh, that to offer for free, is truly a gift from the source. So thank you again for coming. And until next time, bye-bye, everybody. See you soon.